Hey guys and gals, uh, Jim here. Uh, this isn't going to be the greatest high-tech video that uh, I've done, so uh, bear with me, but I just wanted to do a quick video here. Um, let you know what's going on. It's been a while since uh, I uh, put anything up. Um, the last we left off was with the uh, uh, the fully assembled Katinga with all the lighting uh, ready for paint. Um, I did do a base coat on it. Um, uh, I had to order my uh, my paints, my different greens and stuff, and um, we're still at the same point. Basically, these are the three color greens on the uh, side of the box from Tamiya. Uh, Model Master, um, a lot of their colors are no longer available because ever since rust -Oleum bought out testers, they're discontinuing a lot of their um, uh, different greens, uh, not different greens, but their uh, their their jars, their half ounce jars, and ammos and stuff like that. Uh, that's pretty much what I've used all through the years. Um, never had any issues. Always worked great. Gave me nice paint jobs and stuff. But a lot of their stuff isn't available, and a lot of their acrylics you can't find the uh, the colors to match up to the box either. So I uh, put in an order with Hobby Link and ordered uh, three different greens: the JA green. The deep green and uh, flat green. These are all flat colors anyway. Um, XFs. But uh, anyway, just one one quick thing. These uh, these greens don't match up to the box call out colors for the, the Katinga either. So um, it's going to be pretty much use your own judgment. Um, I'm probably going to do mine a little darker than what shows up on the box, make it a little bit more. Uh, more blended together instead of a lot of that brightness that's going on. Um, the studio model is pretty close to some of those colors, but um, it's more faded and everything. I kind of like that where everything's faded and blends together more rather than uh, standing out uh, almost like um, it, almost like a toy-like uh, look to it and stuff. So um, uh, it's going to be a while anyway because I ordered these shortly before Christmas, and with the Christmas shipping and all that. Uh, and getting crazy and a lot of things delayed uh, it took a while for me to get these I just got these the day before Christmas but um, uh, anyway while I was waiting on my uh, shipment from Hobby Link to come out or some other colors too, the, the different uh, the tan and the, uh, the NATO black and all that and uh, those colors are okay and stuff but uh, these greens they're 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 what's called out on the box but they're not they're not really that color I mean uh, this green here it shows like a more like a true green when it actually uh, I did a lot of paint little paint samples with these already when you spray it on it's almost like a darker green more towards an olive or drab color green um, this is a green they recommend for the overall co color it's uh, kinda like a real deep almost like an evergreen green like a like a like a Christmas tree green um, this green the JA green um, it actually is supposed to be darker than this and, and when you do a little paint sample over over this like to, to, to kind of represent your panel different colors and this is a little bit lighter it should be darker so um, not too happy um, it's just uh, deciding what way you want to go um, whether you want to go brighter colors darker colors more subdued blended in where they don't pop as much and stuff um, I haven't decided I'm probably gonna take a big sheet of styrene like like a full sheet of it and probably spray, spray it all one base coat color and then do some just my own little panel markings and stuff kind of like a test run and see what I want what I like what I want to go with and stuff and uh, you know, I, I may do a different also ordered a, a darker green in a, in a rattle can from Tamiya um, hobby link I mean you can get their paints dirt cheap compared to uh, these are like the big, big three-quarter ounce ones are like 270. The smaller uh, third ounce ones, I think those were. Um, I don't want to say two dollars. I mean, it's pretty cheap for Tamiya paints, uh, no matter what they are acrylic, you know, uh, lacquer, whatever. That's that's still pretty cheap. But um, anyway, um, I got a darker green that I might go with a base color. So I'm just gonna be doing a bunch of sample, you know, tests and some sheet styrene decent size where I can get a, a good idea of uh, uh, what direction I want to take so the Katinga will be coming up soon but uh, that's it um, another thing before we go any further this isn't uh, uh, an update on any kind of build video um, 
And basically, one thing I want to touch base on, um, on my channel, I've done, I did a build series way back, uh, probably about a year ago, on uh, uh, the build and play Star Destroyer, how I converted it over and did all the fiber optics and stuff and turned it into a real nice detailed kit rather than a kid's play toy. Uh, I recently did a little, uh, maybe six or seven or eight part series on the uh, 1 1000 scale USS Defiant from Star Trek Deep Space Nine. Um, and I went as far as uh, showed the base that I made, how I made the base and all that stuff. Um, on my channel, I don't do too many build build videos or update videos step by step. Um, I'm pretty much, uh, I like to build my model and get it finished and then do a presentation on it. Um, so a lot, a lot of these kits coming up that I'm doing, the one I'm working on right now, I'm not really doing... Um, you know updates step by step kind of stuff so uh you know it's just gonna be build the model and finish it up if it's something i think might be a little different maybe it's never been built before or if i decide i uh, got something new as far as lighting goes that i want to share with you guys i may do something like that but if it's just general building videos whether the models are lighted or not um they're just going to be build them and give a presentation and run through maybe what i did how I went about doing certain things or something. But other than that, it's just going to be a straight-up one-shot video for, for for the model, and that's it. I might do maybe a couple of videos, maybe one a presentation going, explaining what I did if there was any issues. Um, another one, maybe just uh, showing a model uh, to some uh, background music or something like that just to... Uh, you know, enhance the, the experience, whatever you want to call it. But, uh, you know, I, I may do videos if there's a model comes out and there might be issues, like I've done all the videos about the Katinga. Every time I found an issue, I was popping up a new video. It just gets real time-consuming, and I'm more the type of person. I like to build the stuff and waste less time, um, you know, stopping, shooting a video, going back to building, stopping, shooting a video. You know what I mean. So uh, don't expect a lot of like step-by-step um, -step type stuff here unless it's something new or unless somebody asks me to do something, to show them something. Um, you know, it depends what it is. Uh, you know, there's certain things it's just too time-consuming to stop and do a, a video. Uh, a lot of things step-by-step, -step, uh, especially on what I'm working on now. But uh, anyway, I just wanted to make that clear. So if anybody's, uh, you know popping up on uh, my channel, you know, any new subscribers, I know the, the, my, my usual subscribers that uh, have been following me for the last few years, um, they're pretty cool, I haven't had no complaints or nothing like that, but for any new subscribers that think you're going to be coming here, I'm going to be doing step by step on everything I build, um, don't expect that, so, you know, not trying to be nasty or, uh, or not wanting to show how to do things, but, um, uh, you know, like I said, when I feel that there's a need to maybe show something, I will do it. But it's not going to happen for every model. It just takes a lot of extra time. And I enjoy building something, getting out of the way, put it on display, and then getting to my next model. Whether whether it's a right, right away or, you know, maybe a couple weeks break in between or something. So uh, there might be time periods when I might go through a... A few few days, uh, a couple of weeks time between videos or something because it, I'm just taking time to build stuff. So, but anyway, um, if you're all wondering what I'm doing, I kind of put everything, like I said, the Katinga is on the back shelf right now till after I'm finished with this project that I started while I was waiting for my paints and some stuff, that, some supplies that I needed uh, to replace to come in. And, um, all those Star Wars little mini kits, I haven't forgotten about those. Like I said, it's just, uh, I kind of put everything off and uh, popped open the Katinga and started on that. And then I started on this while I was waiting for some paints to come in. And that kind of stuff's going to be coming up here um, right after the first of the year. I'll be getting back to all that stuff. Uh, most of this stuff just needs uh, bases made for it. And that can pop up a, a nice video with the finished product. Um, the, uh, the trench diorama, that's uh, that's just waiting for some paint, uh, making a, a base for it, um, mounting the kits. I still got a little couple things. I'm trying to decide how I want to light a couple things on that display. So um, I haven't forgotten about that. I still got my Millennium Falcon 144th uh, The Force Awakens to build. Uh, that's going to be lit. That's going to have the photo etch on it. I got the 1989 Batmobile, which is about one of my favorites out of the Batman movies, all of them. And um, I got that model I'm going to do some lighting on and stuff. So I still got plenty of stuff here to go. It's just I kind of 
kind of got out of sync and start jumbling things up and working on several different projects at once. But uh, just to give you an idea what's going on, besides waiting for my paints, getting back to the kitting in, a, in, a, in another week or two, and getting that finished up with a nice paint job and uh, base and everything, um, I, I decided uh, to start working on this and all that. And uh, that's what I'm, I've been working on. Basically, you can see there, I got the uh, port and starboard. I got those lit up. I'll go over all this when I do my uh, my finished video. Like I said, this isn't an update, uh, you know, telling, explaining step by step. Basically, the model is all built. It's all lit. It's all buttoned up. All I got left to do is a lot of little uh, detail parts. The rest of the support legs go in there. Um, pretty much all my railing detail and stuff, and in all my uh, flag poles and uh, and uh, rigging and stuff on there. But uh, that's what I've been working on. And uh, if anybody's wondering what happened to Jim, nothing happened to Jim. Like I says, um, I'll explain more about this model, how I built it in my in in the videos coming up in a week or so. It should be buttoned up hopefully by next weekend or sometime the week after. The uh, biggest challenge on this kit, one of the biggest challenges was getting that water line on there. This is a pretty big haul, as you can see by my hands. It's a big model. So, let me give you a little idea there. It's a pretty big model. Um, the only thing I will say on the box, it says skill level 3. Uh, <laughs> the way these parts fit together, all the... Uh, I used a lot of sheet styrene, anywhere from 10,000 to 30,000 stick. I used a lot of the white tulip on there, um, which a lot of guys use for light blocking. In this case, since everything's predominantly painted white, uh, I used a white tulip for uh, filling in little seams, light leaks and stuff like that. It blends right in. You don't even see it once it's dried. Um, but um, this is what I've been doing for the last few weeks, uh, two, two and a half, maybe close to three weeks. It's, uh, it's a nightmare. I would rate this, if you don't have any scratch building experience, if you don't have any model building experience, if you're not used to modifying kit parts, filing, sanding, not so much uh, putty work. It's, it's, more, it's more filling with sheets, styrene, um, uh, fabricating, scratch building new parts for parts that don't fit properly. Um, I would rate this at a skill level. Probably, probably five or, 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 or higher. Um, it, this isn't for a beginner model. Whether you light it or not, this model is going to have a lot of gaps, um, misfitting parts. Uh, uh, and when I say gaps, it's not like little cracks where you might see uh, 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 daylight through them. I'm talking gaps where you can actually stick a piece of sprue between the parts. Um, it's uh, it's a Lindbergh kit. This is the first time I probably the first time I ever built a Lindbergh kit. It's a very nice model, but there's a lot of work involved in making it correct. Um, with all the curves, you notice the curve the the the, the, the decks. They kind of got that sweeping curve to them. The the whole ship has a curve as far as the length the length goes. And every every deck, the, the more you go up, they have the curve. Uh, a lot of the parts aren't molded to the same curves, so there's uh, there's a lot of filing, sanding, filling, adding styrene strip, sheet styrene, and all that, just to make everything fit right and, and be a solid model with, with, with any issues. So, But uh, like I said, I'll get back into that. This isn't an update video. This isn't how I went about lighting it. Um, for anybody interested in wanting to find out how I did this, lighted this model, or any, any others, um, uh, you can contact me. I'll leave my email address down below in the description. You can get a hold of me, and if you want to learn more about it, uh, then um, you know if, if you know I, I'll, I'll I'll share my number with you, and you can get a hold of me, and we can talk person to person that way. Um, I just don't share my phone number and. Uh, on YouTube because uh, you know there might be people that you don't want to get certain information but uh, my email will be available to anybody out there that wants to know how to how to how to light this or, or, or whatever so uh, and then we can talk more from there but uh, 
like I said, this isn't. The, I'm not going to go through through any kind of issues or updates now. I'll get more into that when the model is finished. Like I said, in about another week or so. But this is what Jim's been busy with, and uh, there's some things I did that uh, aren't actually part of the kit. It's uh, I mean, they're the, the kit. They are the kit parts, but uh, they've been modified severely, and. Uh, and uh, the red light over there I got a pretty good story to tell you guys that, that one I, I had some pretty good issues when I was installing that smokestack with that uh, light in there I'll tell you I will tell you how I lit them and how I came about doing that and stuff but uh, I just wanted to add but those are those are partially the kit parts but they've been uh, modified um, pretty much to uh, accommodate the uh, the port and starboard lighting effect that I wanted and stuff and uh I still got, like you can see right there, where I got my little porch light coming down the stairs. I got a gap to fill in there and then uh, touch up some paint to get rid of that. That's It's not really so much a gap, it's more uh, like a light bleed. So I just basically got to mask some areas off, reshoot her with some black, and then repaint the uh, base color over it and stuff. But um, other than that, a couple little seams along the sides um, and that just needs some touch up here and there. But uh, like I said, I, I, all I got left is uh, basically all little detail parts, all the railings that go around, all the decks and everything wrapped around the whole ship. Uh, a little extra detail here and all that. So I'll get more into that, like I said, in about another week or, or so. I hope they have her all buttoned up with all the rigging and stuff like that. But uh, predominantly the, the ship itself, everything is finished up, lighted and buttoned up and, and sealed. So... Uh, it's just a matter of adding all the extra detail now. So that's what Jim's been up to. I uh, hope all you guys had a great Christmas out there. Um, no, I did. Even even weather-wise, you couldn't ask for better weather for this time of the year in the Chicago area, Illinois, where I'm at. I'm about 100 miles west of Chicago. And uh, I want all you guys to have a safe and happy New Year. Be careful when you go out. It's not so much what you do. It's you got to watch out for the other people. Um, I know when I was younger, I used to go out and stay out all night long and stuff. I mean, I didn't get crazy drunk or nothing like that, but uh, I used to I, I used to be able to go out and stay out with uh, with the crowds and stuff. But um, I'm just about uh, 60 years old in a couple months, so um, I kind of safest place is at home with friends or whatever, and uh, just kick back and enjoy the enjoy the festivities and all that. It's too old to be going out and staying out till 2, 3 o'clock in the morning. I, I'm lucky half the time if I make it past 9 o'clock, 9.30. But then too, I probably get up about 5 o'clock in the morning and start my days out. So anyway, um, we'll be talking to you guys. Have a nice and happy and safe New Year. Um, I'd like to thank all my subscribers. Uh, sorry to keep you guys waiting on a, a, a video, a new video for the last few weeks and stuff. I haven't disappeared haven't quit building it's just I got wrapped up in this project and it's pretty much been a been a pretty pretty much daily thing for the last two two and a half weeks and stuff and it was just while I was waiting for paints for the Katinga but once I started this I figured well I'm gonna finish up get it out of the way then I'll get back to the Katinga and the rest of the the kits that I got waiting that I started and uh, are nearly finished and all that uh, I know a lot of you guys are probably wondering well what happened to the little Star Wars kits that you were doing with lighting and stuff uh, they'll be coming up soon, guys. Uh, I promise you. So, But thanks to all my subscribers. Thanks to all the new subscribers that I recently got. Uh, thanks for all the great comments you guys been leaving. Uh, and uh, all that. Thanks for watching my videos. Thanks for sticking with me. And um, we'll have some more interesting kits hopefully this year. I'm, uh, you know, maybe uh, getting off to sci-fi a little bit here. Uh, there's not as much new stuff coming out as, uh, as there was uh, in the past. <coughs> And I'm trying to mix up my uh, content a little bit. You know, I'm going to be doing some vehicles, uh, you know, some cars uh, type, car type stuff, you know. Might not be anything with lighting. Might not, might just be a build with some uh, detail added and stuff. But I'm going to try to mix it up and uh, do a little bit of variety this year. Rather than just all sci-fi with lighting and stuff, you know. So everybody, there might be something that uh, sci-fi guys want to see. That's not necessarily sci-fi and stuff, you know, and a lot of you guys do that too and stuff. So uh, I enjoy watching all your guys' videos just as much as uh, you guys watch. Uh, enjoy watching mine. So, um, But that's what I've been doing. That's what I got going on. And uh, 
and, and bear with me. Give it about another week or so, and uh, this will be all buttoned up, and then we'll do a... It'll probably be a two-part video. Probably the first video will be on building it, all the issues, everything that you got to do, you got to know to get this ship built halfway decent, even without lighting. And the second video will probably just be showing it off and going over all the little detail on it and stuff like that. It's a it's a pretty cool model. It's it, and it is very large to work to work on and stuff and uh, all that. But uh, that's what I've had had going on. So. And like I said, anybody wants to ask me any questions, and uh, you know that that might not you might not feel comfortable asking them in the comments. Um, feel free to um, uh, email me. Like I said, I'll leave my video my my email number in the uh, descriptions underneath this video, and you can uh, get a hold of me with any kind of questions. Maybe you got something you want me to show you a little bit more detailed or something. Um, I'll be happy to get in contact with with you and uh go from there so um um anyway till till the next time we'll be talking to you guys have a great one oh by the way anybody that's interested in uh the katinga uh go over to brad Hare's channel um and uh he's uh just about finished with his build he's been doing it pretty much every couple of days been posting videos here lately um he's done a real nice paint job on his the, the colors that he used are a lot darker they're more subdued his weathering and everything, but it still resembles what you see on the box. It's just everything's a lot darker, almost like what you might see on screen. He's done an excellent job, so I want to want to point everybody in his direction if you're interested in seeing the Katinga, because there's only a couple other builds out there. There's not many people doing videos on that. It seems like a lot of people ordered the kit, but they're waiting to see videos pop up to see what they want to do, so... Um, but yeah, go over to Brad Hare's channel and, uh, he's, he, he's done a superb job on his, uh, Katinga. It's, uh, it's probably so, so far out of the few, the few Katingas on YouTube, it's probably the best one that I've seen. So, uh, uh, you know, uh, that's pretty much all I can say. Go check them out. So till the next time you guys all take care and again, uh, have a, have a happy and safe new year and, uh, we'll be seeing you. So, so take care. Bye.